back once again. Uh, I got another Nocturne. I put one out. I think it was a move speed. This one's uh, different. This one's uh, my AD knock, straight up AD. Uh, I think. It was, uh, let's see. Let's see what was I running. 345 move speed. So yeah, I was running. Uh, I got my cooldowns, of course, that I always run. Let's see. Cooldowns on Nocturne, ten percent. So you know, I got that. Uh, my armor penetration, twelve. So yeah, I'm running my little cooldown. Uh, got four percent. You know, uh, and then four. Uh, got the armor penetration. Um, uh, and then twenty-one on defense. Actually, I don't have anything on defense. Okay, so I'm running my 22-8 uh, OP Nocturne. Uh, so when I touch you, you're going to bleed. Uh, the, the bottom line, well, you're going to bleed. Uh, this Nocturne that I play, uh, it's not based on move speed. Uh, you know how I love on move speed. Sometimes I have to switch it up uh, and go get You know, bring the AD Nocturne. And what's, with AD Nocturne, you can't be scared. You got It's about ganking at the right times and how you gank. It's like when I tell you to gank with Volivar without queuing first. And you walk up to him and slow him. Now with... Um, with Nocturne, you gotta catch these motherfuckers uh, out of place, misplaced, uh, out of position, uh, mid, uh, like Oriana. This Oriana that I'm playing against, you'll see what I'm talking about. So here, uh, I, I tell my team, uh, you know, I'm gonna come in after. Uh, actually, oh, yeah, we got Cox, Kha'Zix. So she, we, uh, mid blows Flash. They got wards all over this place. Boom, Smite steal. I don't know if Kha'Zix used Smite. He did not Smite. He he mis he he actually uh, failed to realize they up the Smite. Smite is now. 520 so this was after the patch so right now if it was the one before uh it's might what might maybe left that blue in the one uh one hp but we'll never know because i'm not about to go find out so here i stole blue uh kha'zix gonna be so far behind uh, i'm able to uh do my red buff in peace i got five pots uh so really i'm good to go uh uh and now, now since i'm ahead of kha'zix all you want what you want to do is hit level six fast as possible yes you will find opportunities gank now it might be kind of boring, but that's just the way it is. I tell Tark to warn my shit so no one can steal my blue. I'm um, level 4 already, and uh, if you notice, Kha'Zix is level 2, struggling in the motherfucking jungle. Does his job. Uh, what do you call I walk over a ward, and as you can see, this is being out of place. Now all I gotta do is drop the fear. If she flashes, then she might live. But as you can see, she did not have flash because she used it earlier. And I secured a kill by flashing right on top of her face and uh, auto attacking her. If you look at Oriana's stats, she has 17 armor. So, and I got what 76 AD plus that armor. So, basically, my armor penetration drops her down. Uh, I'm hitting her straight up uh, with my Q. Well, I don't know if I have my Q. I did not have my Q on her, so I wasn't doing the full damage I could have been doing the uh, um, Oriana. But from here on out, I mean, if she gets touched, she's dead. So around here. Oh, uh, now you can see I don't go. I don't know if I go for okay. I go for K because she was in range. But most of the time, their car uh, carries won't be in range. And if they're not in range, just kill their support. Uh, but it's always good to kill the AD if possible. Um, so here I want to go ahead and back. Uh, I got my wriggles. I had 1,300 gold. You want to buy wriggles as soon as possible. You don't need to get boots. Why? I mean, because they nerfed the move speed anyway. I mean, it really doesn't matter. But boots are great. But if you're running move speed jungle, then yeah, I would have got boots. Uh, why? Because I mean, you can just be able to be ahead of people. I'm, uh, Move speed OP. If I run my move speed, but I always run attack speed so I can proc my, uh, what do you call it, faster. But now here I got the sustain to sit this, uh, dominate the jungle easy. Um, I can make my plays. Uh, I have nothing to jungle, so I wait for double golems. Uh, I'm almost I'm close to six, so I'm gonna be six after here. Uh, now I'm able to just, uh, uh, back up my bot lane. My bot lane, if they lose in, I use my O for bot lane. So here, um, as you can see, I work my way bot. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, we stop it. Uh, let's go ahead and slow it down. Come in here, drop the Q, I had the fear on Nunu. Uh, I could not get the Kaylin, so uh, uh we got my boy uh Cho'Gath over here just straight up diving. I don't even know what the hell this is is, but Damn that bitch I think that Oriana's pretty bad, so right now we'll see what she gets. Lands in a trap, Kaylin gets a kill without even doing anything. Drop that bitch back, uh Kha'Zix comes in, level six, jumps over, uh we'll see what's going on, uh as you can see, Kha'Zix is just chilling right here. Drops a Q. Uh, can't kill me. I got Wriggles, so I'm do I do a little more damage. Uh. So I back off from the turret. I'm not that stupid. And as you can see, uh, Oriana gets outplayed. Oh my god, that turret is dominating. Uh, exhaust OP. And Kha'Zix gets dominated by Targ. Double kill OP. I come back down there to back my Targ up just in case I needed to. Uh, 
maybe drop a kill but you know they were diving when you dive that's stupid that, that's just throwing the game so that just gave us a uh, boosted our lead up a little bit uh, I didn't realize we had a Elysia Elysia on our team fucking scrub champ um, so I'm level 7 uh, I don't know if I give this blue to Cho'Gath so I don't give the blue to Cho'Gath I decided to take it uh, do I, I do, why, why did I take it um sometimes I usually give it to my mid when I'm playing at this elo I don't think this elo was that low uh, but he had a uh, he had a catalyst so I decided to take it plus I'm ahead anyway um, 2 and 0 as you can see uh, let's see what the cooldowns on my ult uh, if I even got it. I got my ult so once again like I said man uh, I used my ult this is what they like to do they like to freaking gang um, push bot man when you play Kaylin and Nunu or was I playing Kaylin versus Kaylin yeah they love to do that shit man they just pushed on your turret so whenever you have your ult you can't just let them sit there so here uh uh, as you can see, let's just watch this. See, this is the damage when you play AD knock. If I was playing the move speed knock, like the move speed, attack speed, you won't do this type of damage. But this one's 20. When you put 22 or 21 in a uh, offense, you land a Q, drop, you W. So, and I get more attack speed, and you're not going anywhere. So here, mid dies. Uh, he does not do a lot of damage. He's got he's got a freaking spirit stone, so he's pretty weak. Uh, uh, we get it. We can work on dragon. Tyrex started solo on dragon. Uh, come in here. They didn't have a warder. We had a pig, so that's a free, uh, free dragon. Uh, so you know, once again, I go back to farm. Let's see what my build is. Let's explain the build. A lot of people ask about builds. What I build? Oh, you know, they get a giant's belt into a brutalize. That's not my style of knock. Unless I don't give a fuck. If I'm mad and I'm on tilt, then yeah, I go that fucking ghost blade, black cleaver build, uh, triforce. If I feel like I have to super carry, then I do my Triforce, but where I call Phage and I go tanky, and then when I find an opportunity to, when we team fight a couple of fights and I make some gold, then I'll, get, I'll go for the Triforce, but most of the time, uh, I usually don't do that. I just do my regular standard builds where um, I either get like Aegis, some, or uh, not Sunfire, but uh, Mallet, uh, Rant Duins, but you know, they change it up, and you can pretty much do whatever you want to do uh, with the builds they have. Uh, I mean, it's just random, man. Even a Banshee's on a a uh, nocturne after getting a uh, maybe like a DPS item here uh come around the side I die there but you know I paid uh, uh let's see I don't know if I was getting out of this I land a Q and then just uh pump fake right back in Oriana she drops it and I take, take a turret shot and I die and Kha'Zix's not doing a lot of damage he died Kha'Zix is working with uh, uh he got a brutalizer so I don't know why he got a brutalizer but I guess he wants to be more weaker so yeah, it sucks to play Kha'Zix in the jungle, man. I think he's better in mid. It's like Jax. People ask me to do Jax jungle. Uh, if it was like 500 ELO, Jax would be uh, great in the jungle. But uh, he deserves, uh, well, he needs to stay top lane. So here, um, mid's pushing. Just could easily push that. Uh, Cho'Gath is back. Um, red buff's up. I don't do red buff. Uh, I'm going to do double gold in the first reason why. Because I want to hold red a little longer. Uh, uh, come around the side. Cho'Gath gets worked. I got four mid. Uh, Trying to see what's going on. Ezra decides to come back. Tark comes. Uh, they, it looks like they're working to dive. Uh, uh, as you can see, the build that I'm doing right now is the the real deeps build. Uh, now, the, the, when you do this, you can see my CS is 108. Uh, there's a big fight going on here. I'm picking my spot well. Uh, here comes around the side. I'm just making sure that... Uh, they don't go all in on my team. If they go all on my team, I will go back in there. But I don't want to risk dying. It's not worth it. Uh, um, so here, uh, just to check their blue. Blue's up. He doesn't check it. Easy enough. I take it. I have Berserk, so I pretty much vamp pretty hard with my passive. Uh, I, oh, yeah. Uh, when, when, when you... When a lot of people, they, they, they do this whenever you're pushing a lane. She has no one there with her. Instead of going through her turret, uh, or through her lane, she goes this way. And when you go this way, when I see this... You're gonna get jumped on. I missed the Q, but you know it don't really matter. I got attack speed, uh, and it's uh, when my W lands, I'm gonna get. Oh well, I just used it a little late. Okay, well it's still proc. And I kill uh, Oriana. So she basically came back, healed, bot, whatever she did, and just died. Uh, does not help your team. And as you can see, Renekton's build is pretty bad. He's got a brutalizer, uh, Ruby Crystal with a uh, Null Mantle and two Doran Blades and Mercs. Uh, not really doing shit. Not tanky enough. Uh, and Kha'Zix buys a pickaxe, so I know he's weak. So and we got Cho'Gath on our team, a fat ass tank. Uh, uh, Tark has got Aegis uh, working on that bulwark, and here we just, just insta dive him. Ezreal comes in, does the cleanup, uh, and we, we're able to take mid. Um, 
So yeah, when you when you do the attack speed, Berserker Greaves on uh, Nocturne, just make sure to just farm up. Open lanes. Feel free to just go there. Uh, push lanes. Uh, if uh, the laner's not there, uh, the lanes already won. Like top one, mid one, and lane, mid's open, and mid's trying to make plays. Then just go ahead and uh, uh, push lanes and just farm, farm, farm. It's kind of like what Saint Vicious doesn't slow. Uh, uh, solo queue. I think he's one of the junglers that does what I'm doing right here. Just farms up hard and just being able to carry as a jungler. It's pretty easy. And here I get uh, Nunu. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, flash out. Uh, they dive me. I live with 1 HP. I get healed by Tark. Uh, and uh, so Tark. Uh, so, so, so Tari kills um, Kha'Zix. Being too aggressive. Too greedy to go for the kills. So uh, so here I got a giant spell. Uh, get my rent doings. I got a, a brutalizer. But yeah, it, it, I feel like, you know, 1400 ELO, man, don't even worry about it. See, look, here I'm just farming hard. I got another wave come up. Uh, Ez didn't care. I took it. Uh, Blue just popped up. Go ahead and take it. Uh, bot's pushing. If they're fine mid, you know, if I know they're fine, if I check it out, then I'll just keep doing this. See, look at this. I'm just farming, farming. I'm level 15 to uh, uh, Cho'Gat's level 13. So I'm the highest level. And I think this is, I don't know what ELO this is. I'll, I'll check and I'll put it in the description bar. But just to give you an idea. Um how easy it is to carry as a jungler you just gotta farm farm get kills uh, make plays and you'll be all good and Nocturne is just so great with his ult and the reason why I run cooldowns on Nocturne is to be able to get, uh, get my ulti back as soon as possible I got a brutalizer so that'll help me a little bit and if I have ever have blue and I ult and I always get my ult back see with blue <sighs> my ult's down to 84 uh, seconds so I mean uh, once it's level 3 and if I have 40% cooldowns, if I don't, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, oh, damn. Um, let's, let's slow this down. I want to see this damn fight. So here, where am I? Alright, I come in this fight. Uh, Eliza getting jumped on here. Just doing the deeps. I see Renekton. I think I, I, this is the part where I went in too little too deep. I ate the full ult on uh, Nunu, so I took a little too much damage. I think his ult does 625 damage at uh, level 2. Uh, well, my bad. Eight, 875, and he's got 87 AP. The AP ratio is OP. Uh, he's got a, a Kage pick. Lucky pick. Okay, Kage lucky pick. and His ratios on his ult is like 85 to 1. Bullshit. And, and, and you know, they get a little aggressive mid and uh, donate kills to my... Uh, to my Ezreal. And as you can see, I got Ghost Blade. I did not go for the um, uh, the Black Cleaver. The reason why is because I love the act active on this. Uh, gain 20% move speed, 40% attack speed, and six seconds for six seconds, and then uh, four seconds if you're a range. And I don't know, it's just a 45 second cooldown. And you know, move speed 20. To, and Black Cleaver gives you 10 arm uh, plus armor penetration. This gives you 20. You get crit strike. Um, uh, so yeah, it's OP. I like it. Um. Great on knock, I mean, especially if you're W uh, prox, then you're just attacking so hard, and, and you have wriggles, so you do get some vamp back. Plus, you have your passive too at the same time. So, so P. But yeah, as you can see, uh, 174 ACS as jungler, almost most CS in the game, not next to Caitlyn, and uh, Renekton, and we're up 16 kills. I don't know, maybe a few, a couple of dragons. <laughs> So here, uh, it was a, uh, Elijah baits the living shit out of me. I go back in here. It was such a bad play. Um, get ulted in here. I, I think I wanted to get out of here, but we decided to focus Renekton. So we're working on Renekton. Here, I don't know if we decided to get out, but uh, I flash out. So yeah, just bad plays. Uh, the Gator is mad. Uh, well, I have my W, so thank you, uh, Caitlyn. Uh, good, good, thanks to you anyway, Ezra. And as you can see. Uh, just a big fight going on here. Ezra needs a backup. Hopefully he doesn't die. Gets, gets out of there alive. Kha'Zix coming in strong. Michael Jordan, uh, he's bu just bought his new Nikes. And here they go to work for Baron. Uh, can they get it? Oh, uh, three dead. Looks like they can. Ugh. Ezra gets jumped on here. I don't know if I die. Yes, I do die. So right now, I mean, we don't have a big lead. Team's turret has been destroyed. So we, we kind of much throw up, man. That's that's basically what happens in this elo, man. It's just the game of throws. Let's check what's going on. Uh, so you know I'm I'm, I'm taking. I'm decided to go work on my GA. 
Ezreal is working on his IE. He's got a vamp. Uh. <sighs> no, I'm tired. So I hear, I don't know what Kha'Zix is doing in our jungle. Kha'Zix just all over the place. So here, okay, I see what's going on. It's okay, look, if, if we look at the map, uh, uh, look, I'm, 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 as soon as I see this, uh, I decide to push mid. I don't know what my team does, but I think I've seen two of them going top. They feel like they're strong because they have Baron. And that's me pinging. I was like, yo, ping, let's go, let's go. You know, is this is the time. Because they're like, okay, fuck it, let's push top. That's what they're saying. And then we're like, fuck it. And then fuck you. And then we push mid. So you push mid. So now they have to come. They're going to be out of position. And look, as you can see, Oriana is by herself. She's trying to protect her turret. Now that makes it a 4v5. Now here, they just threw the game back at us. The, the momentum shifts. Uh, I'm able to tank the turret. And I just want to back up. Minions pull up. I don't want to take too much. Uh, they do have Baron. They come from behind. Here, I'm just trying to do as much damage to the turret as possible. Come in. Fly right onto Caitlyn. I have Ghost Blade. I don't know if I hit it. Well, I already hit it before when we were going for Oriana. And easy enough, I did not use my Rad and Duelans because I'm bad. Uh, and Renekton decides to come back in here. Uh, I just ran Duelans. Uh, uh, nothing. Anunu uh, just ults all of us and gets fucking dumped on. Here we take this. Uh, and we probably pr pretty much go for the win here. Uh, <coughs> Kha'Zix build. He's got, he's got the AD spirit. A bad elder lizard. Ah, oh, shit. My bad. I'm just so tired. Um. Just get done making like four or five videos and you know just get a little tired so yeah um build wise uh i, get, I probably got enough for my ga uh, i decided not to uh stop that i just wanted to back uh we get my ga hardly nobody has baron on their team um ezra gets a kill down there i don't know what has happened or oh, oriana checked the bush i guess oriana was just making good plays baby oh let's check let's check, let's check it out so oriana passes the bush Walks over a ward, comes to do raids, does not even know what's going on, flashes, gets dropped on, drops the ult, and dies. Uh, so yeah, that's just bad, bad play uh, at this point in the game by Oriana. Oriana had a bad game, I mean, happens. Uh, as you can see, I walk out of there alive, uh, I got Berserker Greaves. Here I'm just able to tank, I got GA, so I don't care if I die. Uh, Kha'Zix jumps back in. Here I fly in and I almost die. Well, I did die. I got three people surrounding me. I'm not getting out of here. So I just try to put as much deeps out as possible. Ezra finally comes in and he's gonna do the cleanup duties. So he comes in, uh. He's trying to see who he wants to get. Uh. Comes in there. Kaelin comes from behind. I don't know what this is about. Uh, Kaelin's doing some work. Oh my god. So yeah, where am I at? Oh, okay, I just spawned. Come over here and get blue. As you can see, Cho'Gath does not leave blue. He's got a rod of ages and a frozen heart. There I go, there I am flying onto uh, Caitlyn. I switch around, I was taking a little too much damage. I got ignited, so I wanted to back off. As you can see, I'm getting melted right now. I still walk in here. Uh, taking a lot of deeps. So here I know we had the, uh, the victory. No need to do barons. Go ahead and push mid and in the game. And there goes the surrender. GG. G, motherfucking G.